with this. I want to start with the basic energy model. I need a couple of volunteers to help me out with this. And Corey, I want you to stand right here, right next, actually right over on that side of this stool. And then Xander, I want you to have a seat on this stool. And this is a stool on a wheeled cart, okay? Let's go ahead and have a seat right up there and then face this way, okay? Okay, here's what we're going to do. And, and Corey, I need you to face this way. You both are systems. You're a system and you're a system, okay? And then, so you are metaphorically the thing represented by the red line here on that. That's going to separate out the system. Now, within a system, we can have changes of energy from one form to another. I can have kinetic energy change into potential energy. Potential energy goes to kinetic. There's chemical energy which can be involved. Or I could take energy into a system or energy out of a system. And I can bring energy into a system in the form of work or heat. These are both transfers of energy. And then energy can go out as work or heat. Those are both transfers of energy. And you're both going to move across the classroom. We're going to do it in different ways. Yours is going to be a transformation. Yours is going to be a transfer. OK, so Corey, I want you to walk across the room. Well done. Well done. Let's give him a hand. Excellent. And you can stay right there. Think about this right at the start, at the very start, when Corey's stationary and he starts to move, what transformation happened inside the system that is Corey? Chemical energy. He had chemical energy in his muscles, and it turns into kinetic energy of his motion. So we do a little chemical to kinetic. And then he's traveling at a constant speed across the room. And while he's traveling at a constant speed across the room, oh, that's a piece that we'll come back to. But right at the start, you started moving because chemical energy in your muscles was converted into kinetic energy, but it's all inside the system. Now, Xander is going to do something very, very different. Xander, you're going to sit there, and I'm going to push on you. You're the system. I'm like an external agent applying a force. And where did his kinetic energy come from? It came from me, and it was a transfer into the system in the form of work. I did work, doing more work here. There we go. And so if I push on him, I'm putting work into the system. He's now got kinetic energy. Oh, and check this out. I can push back. Now the energy goes out of the system. I can put energy into the system. <laughs> and I can take energy out of the system. And work can put energy in. Work can take energy out. It works both ways. And we're going to look at both ways of that. Xander, thanks very much for your help. And Corey, thanks for your help. Let's have a hand for both of them. <laughs> And that's our basic energy model, and that's the difference between what we'll call a transfer and what we'll call a transformation. One other piece shows up on this basic model. If you look at it inside the system, there's kinetic energy, potential energy, chemical energy, and look at thermal energy. Kinetic energy goes to potential energy, potential to kinetic, two-headed arrows. Chemical energy and kinetic energy, two-headed arrows. Chemical and potential, two-headed arrows. Thermal energy, one-headed arrows. Energy goes from kinetic to thermal, chemical to thermal, potential to thermal, it doesn't go back. It doesn't go back. And in fact, one other aspect of the model that's crucial is this, that there's a difference between the different kinds of energy.